Pat Hindle with Microwave Journal, and I'm here at IMS 2018, and I'm talking with Abhishek Kapoor. He's with Anoki Wave. Abhishek, you guys have uh, released 64 element and 256 element at 28 gigahertz for both ICs and arrays. What's next for Anoki Wave? So, Pat, thank you so much for actually talking with us. So, yes, in addition, in, after doing the 64 element and 256 element uh, 5G arrays, uh, we have also just finished releasing our second generation of 5G ICs. So it's just the beginning of uh, all the new ICs that are coming to the market, and uh, we are continuing to work on investing in the newer ICs for the 5G market, and in the, in the coming months and years, you will see more and more ICs. Uh, additionally, we are also bringing out our intelligent gain blocks, uh, which are basically ICs that can be used for multiple uh, functions across the arrays, or as single function blocks, or as integrated ICs for various designs. Uh, so a lot of development happening in the 5G world uh, on the intelligent game block side, as well as uh, from a SATCOM perspective. So a lot to look forward to. So are you going to be addressing other frequencies and other applications, or just mostly 5G and SATCOM focus? Absolutely. So for us, the theme, as, as we have talked about before, is commercializing phase arrays. And uh, 5G, SATCOM, uh, and military radars are the first starting points where we are seeing the adoption of uh, phase array uh, for that purpose. In addition to that, we are also seeing a growing demand of phase arrays in uh, sensing applications. So that, could, that is potentially another area uh, where our ICs can be used and we are already seeing traction in that market. So the starting point today is of course 5G being the biggest market, SATCOM and radars, followed by newer applications like sensing coming along. And with these next generation products, uh, what are those bringing that the first generation didn't bring? Is Are they self-calibrating, um, their temperature compensation, and things like that? So there, there are a whole bunch of features, and I think uh, each generation, it's, it's adding to those features. So how I define it is three key parameters. One is uh, performance, second is size, and third is price. Uh, we believe that you have to meet all these three criteria to make commercializing of phase array possible. And, uh, with each generation, that's what we are trying to improve. We are not thinking primarily from the perspective of just improving IC level spec. We are trying to think more from a system level and seeing how these ICs can be designed to provide an array level performance uh, for each application that we are talking about. So uh, so yes, uh, a lot of the features that you mentioned are just, uh, just the starting point, but there is a lot more coming behind it. So looking around IMS, what are some of the trends that you're seeing? Absolutely. So. Uh, what we are seeing this year is that 5G is no longer a concept, 5G is a reality. We are actually seeing adoption of phased array architectures or active antenna architecture for real deployment of 5G and the market has moved past just trials and prototyping stage. So we are seeing uh, real tier one and tier two type vendors actually using our ICs to build active phased array uh, uh, based uh, base stations in the 5G world. Additionally, we are seeing a convergence of the 5G market, SATCOM, military, and the sensing market where phased array is becoming a fundamental building architecture. So SATCOM market with its LEOs and MEOs as well as satellite on the move is actively adopting the phased array architecture. The military radar market has always been using phased arrays, but now they are relying on silicon ICs like the ones from Anoki Wave for bringing the cost points down and being able to build larger arrays and more performance focused arrays. And uh, finally, we are seeing sensing market, which was quite surprising, also adopting phased array type architectures to do some very, very unique uh, sensing applications. So that, that's where we are seeing the market. In general, again, the 5G market is real. Phased array is becoming a fundamental building block for all the different applications today. Well, thank you very much for talking with us today, Abhishek, and have a good rest of the show. Thank you, Pat.